to summer travel. After a couple of years, of course, families skipping their summer vacations. But AAA is predicting nearly 40 million people traveled just this holiday weekend. And traveling, of course, can be very stressful. But bringing the whole family can bring its whole own set of challenges. So here to offer advice to ensure your next summer getaway is as stress-free as possible, Samantha Brown, travel expert and Emmy-winning host of Samantha Brown's Places to Love. Welcome to GMA3, Samantha. Okay, so you've been traveling with your family for a long time. How did you become a seasoned pro traveling with kids? I have nine-year-old twins. I've been traveling with them since they were two months. So I've done red eyes, RV road trips, 12-hour time changes. I I've made all the mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So what is the biggest lesson that you have learned from, tra from your own travel mistakes? Avoid the pre-board with kids. So everyone Ooh. thinks of this as the biggest oh, perk, right? Yeah. It's yeah. not. But here's how you can take advantage of the pre-board. So if you're with parent number one and two or caregiver, mm -hmm. parent number one uses the pre-board to load in all the stuff. They set up the shop, yeah. while parent number two, that's usually me, I'm in the waiting area, oh. and I wait until that last zone is called, and that last person walks down. I actually see them halfway down the jetway, yeah. and then I bring my kids. Uh, the, the gate clerk knows what I'm doing, and they're oh like, good gosh. job. And then we walk on, settle the kids, doors closed. So the pre-board is going to put a child, two years old and under, on the plane for at least, at least 45 minutes more than the flight time. The pre-board is also the most stressful part of the plane trip. Mm -hmm. All of that energy gets encapsulated by a, and the kids That's take usually where our energy. first argument happens exactly. on the vacation. Exactly. Exactly. So I just saved your marriage, is yeah. what you're yeah. saying. This yeah. is already exactly. worse than the price of admission. Yes, I can see you. it in your face already. Uh, Janae and I travel all the time yep. for work. It's different traveling as a news correspondent for yourself. All you have to do is be on TV. Exactly. I know we've got to bring certain things, comfortable shoes, clothes steamer. I'm yes. sure you have some items too. Uh-huh. But for traveling with a family, what are the essential items that you need? Duct tape. And this is this Genius. does not sound good. That's so not good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me let me elaborate. So duct tape is one of the best travel tools you can bring, especially with a family. It's an amazing childproofing tool. You can duct tape over electrical outlets. You can duct tape those uh, ties that raise and lower blinds that are very dangerous for young children. You can duct tape the mini bar so your kids don't open up a ten dollar bag of M and M's. Mm. So it's a great tool. Always, I always travel with duct tape. I'm also thinking about lines. There's going to be a lot of long lines this this summer um, staffing shortages make that so so pack tasks for being in the line my favorite for all ages even adults uninflated balloons big ones not the small Whoa. ones that are a, a, a choking hazard yeah. the big right. ones you blow up a balloon you can whack that balloon as hard as you can <laughs> and it goes boop right uh -huh. and if it hits someone it's just like boom and then <laughs> other people play in the line I once was in baggage claim waiting an hour for our bags uh -huh. and I inflated balloons and the whole the whole Genius. baggage claim number three That's we amazing. were just having a beach party and so it changes the mood it creates a diversion it creates fun and it makes everything all right okay so I love Love this and I will say mm -hmm. recently we've started bringing the red wagon yes. instead of strollers that's what we put the kids in now because it's oh. a lot easier to throw everything in there you also say that we should get resourceful yes. what do you mean so uh, there's a lot of things that people are you have um, access to but people don't think they're a travel uh, travel tip or a, a hack in your hotel room the ironing board is the most underappreciated amenity you can find so we all run out of counter space when we're in a hotel room with our family an ironing board is four feet more counter space. It can be raised to be a stand-up desk if you like to stand up at your desk. It can be raised and lowered to be an activity table. It's just the best tool ever. Get it out and I hear it's good for ironing as well. Right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. Yeah. With my kids right. we, we just wrinkled clothes. We embrace and we the wrinkled right. clothes. Lower on the priority. Exactly. I, I don't have kids myself. Mm -hmm. Bo uh, both of you do. Uh, but I don't think I have to have kids to know that it can be kind of a headache to travel with them, mm -hmm. but it's still essential to travel with your kids, oh, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, travel allows your kids to see you be a kid, yeah. what that does for their sense of love and security. Also, thing, travel never goes perfect, right? And allows your kid to see how does my parents handle mm. uh, when things don't go their way? And then they're learning. So it's just always a time to practice patience and kindness. That's what I always say. Yes. Patience and kindness. And the exposure wow. to different places, yeah. different cultures. We love it. Samantha, thank you so much for being with us. You're you welcome. can catch Samantha Brown's Places to Love on PBS. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime.
We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.